Hello folks and welcome. Filming in 1920 by 1080. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly, if necessary, with that gear symbol on your YouTube player. Subscription key is in the corner, 400 videos and growing. If you'd like to subscribe and check out my library of videos, they're all keyword indexed. So today I'm going to talk about two settings and so this video will be fairly short. The sensitivity of grabbing the edge. You can see my mouse is changing and it's hard to grab that on both the top and bottom. I'm going to increase the sensitivity all the way down to here. I'll show you how to do that. I'm also going to talk about very large scroll bars. So the current width of the scroll bar right now um, is about that th thick. I'm not talking length. I'm talking about how wide. So I'm going to show you how to change those two options today. Very short video. Again, filming in 1080. Welcome. So let's start with the scroll bar thing. Go to your system settings and over to themes. If you're in simplified, which is normally done this way, then click the advanced settings and go to the last tab called settings. And then click this on, override the current themes scroll bar width. Now, if you leave it at default 10, I need to close and reopen. You can see how thin it is. I'm going to right click this time on the panel bar and do system settings. Now you can see the size of the scroll bar is 10. It's a little wider than normal. I'm going to make this really wide. And again, this is for folks that want to have those super wide. I'll go to maximum. You can go in between, of course. Right click system settings. Now that's uh, jumbo style, if one would say. How big is my screen? It's 43 inches, filming in 1920 by 1080, just as one more reminder. Okay. Everything is subjected to icon sizes and screen resolutions. All right. So I'm just going to give you an example of that scroll bar. And again, it's not the length, it's the width. And it's all determined by how big you make those icons. The width didn't change, but the length did. I'm just doing it the old fashioned way. I normally don't like to do it this way. I use my control key and my computer mouse scroll wheel to resize icons on the fly. I think you'll find that quite easy if you have a computer mouse. If you're on a touchpad, it's kind of sensitive. I don't really care for those touchpads. I, they're way too sensitive for me, but that's just me. Anyways, now let's talk about this sensitivity here. You, you notice that as I'm going from side to side, it's triggering, but it's not. You know, we can always double click on things or we can right click and resize. I'm talking about this just grabbing the edge. All right, I'm going to change that surface area to about down here, believe it or not. I'm going to give that almost a quarter of an inch. So to do that, we go to system settings and we scroll to an area where it is called preferences and windows. Okay. Previously with the scroll bar, I was in themes. So in the windows area, we have a three tabs. Uh, the first one is pretty basic. It's if you wanted to move that from right to left. All right. If you ever wondered how to do that, I'm talking about the behavior. Now the behavior of the draggable border width, this part here, because I'm dragging it, right? This is default. You can see the little little line right there. If I go the other way, it's almost impossible for me to grab a hold of that. It just keeps changing. However, if I go the other way, I got a huge surface area that doesn't change anymore. Do you see how far out I am? What is that about a half an inch or at least on my screen it is. So I'm going to leave it there for a second and open up the file manager in a windowed environment. And now you can see that I have a large surface area and it's not changing. I have to go almost to here for it to not trigger anymore. So from here to here, very large surface area. Same at the bottom. Hopefully you found these adjustments useful. Short and sweet video. Thank you for watching.